Hey Leah, I didn't forget about you. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying, why aren't you posted? So different setup, same reader. Um, so you'll get the same messages. And of course, if you're new, welcome. Um, I wasn't well, but I'm on the mend. As you can see, I'm feeling much better. And I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Thank you for all the well wishes. Um, let's see what's going on with you guys without further ado, right? And I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box, along with how you can contact me for personal readings. A brunette female here, there's a message for you. It could be you that's this brunette female, or you may be dealing with the one, right? So it's letting you know here, triangle, okay. Um, it seems like you're in this triangle here where there may be more than one person involved in your relationship. You may already have found out, or you may be just about to find out that um, you know, there's more than you as an option. Gifts. Okay, this kind of feels like you might not see it as a gift when you find out. Um, but in the long run, it will be. Twin flame. So it can be that your twin flame met a brunette female here and brought you into this love triangle. Let's see what's going on. I mean, I, I know a fact it's going to be difficult. I posted a twin flame reading recently, but I don't usually do them on my channel because the energy is really difficult for general reading. So you can have a look at that for further information if you believe you're in a twin flame connection there. Let's see. The star. This love triangle, your twin flame, this brunette, this was all meant to happen. I know at times it doesn't feel like it. Um, and you may have felt like, look, why would I want to meet this amazing love only to end up in a love triangle? Why did I experience all these things? But it's kind of brought you to a place where you're finding out about what's really destined to be or what's really that star for you, what goals you're chasing, what's waking you up to, what do you want to be, where do you want to go? You know, it's waking you up spiritually and um, your life path here with the star. So a destined event happened, not only meeting them, but I definitely feel this triangle as well. I know people don't want to hear it, but it, how it is. Seven of Swords. Man, my face is going to be crazy in these thumbnails because I cannot hide when I'm like, this is why I usually do it from the other angle. Seven of Swords. So there's definitely some cheating going on here. Um, some lying at the very least. Okay. Well, if they've dragged you into a love triangle, I don't know. It could have made you feel low self-esteem. You may have had to go through an experience that broke down your ego but left you with a low self-esteem so now it's about building yourself back up okay i know you're like how could it be destiny that i get cheated on but it's the karma we agreed to before coming here and you'd probably know that if you're in a twin flame connection because the star also means it's a destined point for you guys to wake up so nine of wands so your twin flame may have blocked you after cheating on you um, and after that you've experienced um, a lot you've been through a lot this broke you down so low that um, you know it was a lot to climb back up here so you may be on the defensive right now you may be like I'll be single forever then be cheated on you know twin flame what I don't care you're in defensive mode here and I understand why being brought into a love child. Uh, oh gosh, did I say it? A love child being brought into a triangle, I meant to say, but I said love child. So some of them may have created a baby and especially seen as the page of swords turned over. But your twin flame, um, they may have blocked you in the beginning. Now you're on this defensive. They're picking that energy up and they're spying on you. So you'll know if you've got a twin flame, if they dragged you into this uh, love triangle, um, if they initially blocked you and now you're very defensive, you'll know if that's you. They're trying to find out this information about you, um, what's going on with you. 
I feel it's because you're raising your vibrations though. And that again is the star and things that were meant to happen. You were supposed to raise your vibrations and we were supposed to um, raise the vibrations of the earth to change this earth into like a 5D connection. So you definitely um, will be aware of these things if you're in a twin flame connection. And if you're not, uh, if you've seen hermits in a reading, it's saying you need a spiritual mentor, guys, okay? But we've got a nine here, and that's related to the hermit and the nine of wands, actually. Um, so it is saying, look, you're building yourself up. You're doing a great job. Keep doing it. Um, those pentacles are going to start raining in for you. If, they, if they've been blocked up until now, your money or good money energy coming in, it's going to change, okay? You're looking for ways to make money or make your money work for you. Um you, like I was saying over here, you may say, I'm going to be team single forever. Uh, I'm not going to put up with any sort of cheating or um, behavior. You seem very strong right now. This is a lot of masculine energy. The pen, nine of pentacles and um, the nine of wands there. It seems like um, you're being very in masculine energy you are wanting to be a go-getter um feeling you'll start to feel the passion more as we move towards um sagittarius season so you know um what are we are next week next two week uh, you'll start to feel like more passionate about things and where you make your money how you make your money and if it was blocked it'll definitely be unblocked at that time so um as we move to the end of november the beginning of december money will start turning around and become good here don't worry about that the unknown card so some of you are doubting did i actually meet a twin flame did i meet a false twin flame did i meet a karmic partner and things like that but i feel with this unknown card it's saying there's still things for you to learn from this situation so it's probably why you and your twin are still blocked from each other divinely um because you're both putting out this energy that maybe we don't want each other right now we're not ready for each other right now and part of spiritual growth is understanding that Things happen at the right time, right? Um, you're never out of place and things like that. They're happening when they're meant to happen. And that's that star card as well. The sun. So you will have this influx of beautiful, positive energy. I feel like you're feeling it. You're in a much better place from where this triangle happened anyway. Um, if it's about to happen, take note. It will usher in. may not feel like it now, but it will usher in. Um growth and healing for you so any traumas that will be triggered by this triangle will be healed with the sun that's healing on a major scale um being able to heal yourself within so you don't have to um go down those paths again face those types of relationships again meet a different person but the same kind of soulmate again you'll you'll heal this time within so it is an abundance of changes, it's clarity, it's being able to see things clearly and um, knowing that it starts with you with those nines. Nine is related to the hermit, so it's always going to start with you guys. Four of Swords, and there's that healing that I was speaking of. Some of you could be getting a cold at this time, but I wouldn't worry because, like I said, you've got this major healing card here. So don't worry about anything like that. Um, again, this can be referring to stay at home, being the fourth house, um, you know, about home and family and things like that. So it may be that, you know, again, we've got this um, world events. I have to say because of wording, because of the video, but you guys get me. Um, it's staying at home because of things like this. Um, without choice, right? Um, you're trying to heal, look after yourself, better yourself. But I feel like you can be getting quite bored and complacent. But also it's part of it because it will trigger you to unlock this money issue, right? You'll start to focus on how am I making my money? What am I doing? You know, things like that. But I feel like with this nine of pentacles, you're not going to have money worries for long if you have some. Knight of wands. So this is somebody coming towards you. It could be another fire sign you're dealing with, even another Leo with the sun card here. But we have a lot of air and pentacles as well. Um, 
I'm so surprised it must be the first reading ever that I haven't seen a Scorpio here yet. <laughs> Good. Well done, guys. Well done. You're changing that energy. And this is somebody rushing towards you now. Very passionate as well. Charming person. Um, maybe wanting to date you. Let's see. Six of Cups. <laughs> You know, I hate doing uh, the readings facing myself because my face is always like, damn, <laughs> and I can't hide it. Um, so, yeah, this could be somebody from your past here returning to your life again. But at Night of Wands energy, we hope that can just be the sign or the speed, right? We don't want that energy that's still a player, that's still trying to maybe lie and deceive you. But this person's coming back. Guys, let me know in the comments what they came back and said. Because it seems like you're on the defensive anyway. I don't need some of the signs. I have to say, look, chill out. Don't take your ex back if they're not right. You guys seem to be on the defensive here. Five of Cups, they're missing you. Of course, if you have something great and let it go, of course you're going to miss it, right? So it's like a wake-up call for them now. Uh, they're facing challenges emotionally um i wouldn't catch somebody emotionally i would let them work through it because our emotions are our gps they help us to go in certain directions so they realize i'm not feeling good about this i feel like drawn to them so somebody's feeling drawn to you so this is why we've got to let people go through these emotions and struggles let them feel what it feels like to be without you let them feel your absence because this person's soon coming running back to you. I mean, I've got she's saying, cry me a river. <laughs> you know, so this person's returning because they're missing you, but don't just make it so easy for them. Definitely a twin flame connection for me, Queen of Swords. And definitely you're feeling icy right now. May not be like, I'm not going to accept anybody from my past if this is resonating with you. They're going to have to show up, show out and be on fire. The moon, still something you need to figure out about this person. Um, you're not seeing it coming though. So the secrets here, the seven of swords, the moon, there's something you're not seeing coming your way. Maybe it's just that you're not seeing this person coming because maybe it's been a long time and now all of a sudden they miss you. What about the brunette? <laughs> I thought the brunette was you, but unfortunately I pulled the Queen of Cups. It may be a Pisces and not that Scorpio, but hey, could be a Cancer as well. This is somebody trying to wear their heart on their sleeve and tell you, I love you. It's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. See you later, guys.